the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Hi, and welcome back to At the location. Hitman. No hostile presence. Understood. Alma Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Clan's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Hi, and welcome back to Hitman 2. We're on our first mission, having qualified as a assassin. And you heard the mission brief, obviously. So let's see what naughties we can get up to here. It's a window open here, will that let us in? I need to keep an eye out for a bin as well, I've got a stash. Ooh. Sent over. Okay, that's not going to work. So somewhere in this building there is a bin. Now, if it was me, I would have it at the back of the house. Hello. Got some poison. It's locked. No cars. They could be out. Could be lying low. The satellite scans were inconclusive. Only one way to find out, I'm afraid. Well, we couldn't unlock the garage door. I wonder. Yeah, it should do it. That looks it. Yeah. Bodies, male and female, early thirties, executed. I see them. Oh, bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Right, that goes into the house. Okay. There's that battery there, but I don't think it's going to be much use to us. Anything here? No. Just 
some poison. Tins of food, we don't need the tins of food. Hello. Let's see if we can put some. Put some rat poison in that. She'll certainly enjoy that meal. There's nothing around here. Plates. Found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. They could come in useful. There's more rat poison there. Hmm. Now that would be interesting to something being able to. Uh, Kiora, uh, Ari from Kiwi Repair here. Uh, don't know when you folks are back in town, but uh, give me a shout so I can swing by and uh, fix that pesky bathroom ventilation system for you. <laughs> I can't have the whole house smelling a nail polish now, can we? <laughs> uh, well, and anywho, like I said, uh, just give me a shout. That's Ari, uh, the repair guy. Well, Mr. Repair Guy, let's see if we can find this sort of problem with the air conditioning in the bathroom and see if we can deal with it. I mean, she could do with a cap. No. Well, this is a bathroom. What's that? Ah, right, okay. We don't need to be doing that. Well, this is hers. So where's her bathroom? Here we go. So where's that pesky air conditioning unit? Obviously she likes to keep up with the fashions while sat on the loo. There's nothing in here. Okay, she's got a squeaky toy, so surely that must be for a dog or a cat. Doesn't seem to be here. TV. Oh, it didn't seem to be for that bathroom. Maybe that's not her. Oh, 
There's no bathroom down there. Got a computer there. And a bust. 47. Oh, wow. That computer. See if you can't access it. I'll get to that in a minute. What have I've got that? I don't really need them. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. Our priority is the Shadow Client. Much prefer to use that if I have to. Let's hope I don't have to. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. So where does this go? Okay. Hidden door. Nothing there. This is the air conditioner, I would expect. Is there any keys somewhere? What was that? Don't want tins of spaghetti, I don't think. They're all poisoned. Hmm. Okay, so that goes into the garage. And I imagine that's an e hiding space. Yeah. Let's hack the computer. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade. Possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it... He's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 2, 47. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Maximilian's not here, just us chickens. Not so sure about your guards having Max, I mean, could have been a bit more trendy. Looks like you've got them from the docks. Terrorism. Terrorism clear. Copy that. Do a sweep of the upstairs while you're at it. I knew you were going to say that. 
No, don't bother doing the upstairs. I'm here. I'll look after so, it for you. So, uh, you gonna tell me who it was we just kidnapped? House guests of the PM. The wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, uh, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Pierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to... Well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, honey. No problema. Well, that's the sedative going into it. Let's hope this works in our favour. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate and your family die. Adapt your signal or warn anybody and your family dies. Do we have terms? Not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? Mango. You heard me, Definitely Mr. a mango. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. I didn't know there was a downtown to London. Shows what you miss when you live in the country. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish she gets about collateral damage. Yeah, just drink your tea. Go and have a good slurp. Gargle with it if you want. Ugh. Unbelievable. Anybody there? Come in! Someone's really ripping folks up around here. Come on, get up. I don't have all day. Well, that didn't work to our favor, did it? That guy right there. Whoa! Man, Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Command, I have nothing to report from my current location. Over. Oh, we got the target. Our exit's over there. Man, yeah, I'm here now. It's all clear. Over. Let's go down this way. Stay alert. Look over there. Hoo 
Don't look over here. There's nothing to see. Just our dunes. Just the dunes. There's a guy there. Let's go behind this guy here. A guy there and a guy here. Okay. Go on, turn round. You know you're going out. They found a body. Hmm. No way to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. We can do that. And we're off and that makes a good place to leave it I'd like to thank you for watching today if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe comments are always welcome so please leave one and remember to ring that bell and I'll catch you next time goodbye <laughs>